that and the jobs that they can have for what they think they should earn, meaning you go to school, you get into all this debt, you try to become a teacher or something, and then you realize you can make more at an Amazon warehouse. And then the fourth is you have all these boomers with an enormous amount of savings, 30, 40, 50 trillion dollars, who are pulling forward their retirement and also subsidizing their kids. You put it all together, there's less of an incentive to be in the job force unless you pay higher wages. Now, let's just put a pin in that for a second. I think the thing that Sachs talked about is really important, which is that we have to really figure out whether inflation is transitory or it's persistent and it's here. Something that we, we also mentioned before, which is that CPI is horribly calculated and it's really imprecise. And if you unpack CPI, there's some the price index, the consumer price index, there's something in there, a component of it, that's very important, which is called the owner's equivalent rent, right? How much can somebody basically charge rent to other people? The way that they calculate that, which is 30% of the calculation, is they just survey a handful of people. The problem is you don't need to survey because the actual exact data is available from single family rentals that report this number. So their survey showed basically a uh, much, much smaller increase than what the actual increase is. So the largest owners of nationwide single family rentals are reporting a 17% year over year rent increase. Wow. The, the OER that was calculated quote unquote by surveying the 